So during the whole entire iPhone lineup series Apple has basically made since like 2007, there's been a few different unreleased iPhones or iPhones maybe Apple has skipped. And it's very interesting to look back because rumors and leaks kind of showcase that not everything is 100% right. And believe me, I fall for leaks and rumors all the time. And you know, they get my hopes up sometimes. But the first almost unreleased iPhone I can think of, at least in the more modern times, was the iPhone 9 and iPhone 9 Plus. So these were iPhones that Apple pretty much just skipped entirely. And it kind of makes sense but we never really got a 9 or 9 plus of an iPhone. We pretty much got every single other iPhone number besides that, besides a 9. And it makes me think, will we get an iPhone 19 or will Apple just skip straight to the iPhone 20? So the reason why this, and we did get a ninth generation iPhone, but it wasn't quite like an iPhone 9, it was an iPhone 8. And the reason for this was because in 2017, it was the 10 year anniversary of the iPhone and Apple I guess number wise couldn't keep up or match up with the iPhone, you know, the number nine. So they went straight from the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and went to the iPhone 10 because of the 10 anniversary. And it was actually the X as the 10. So it wasn't quite the 10 as you might think. So that was one of the first unreleased iPhones that Apple pretty much just completely skipped over. Now, another one that I talked about the other day was the iPhone SE Plus. This was an iPhone that was rumored, I think, for like two years straight. And I heard about this iPhone probably like for like two years, almost back to back. And this was an iPhone that was supposed to be like an iPhone SE 2, but it was supposed to be a bigger model. I think it was supposed to be like an iPhone 8 Plus successor, and we never really got that. So hopefully Apple does bring some sort of bigger iPhone SE. I think that would be great. I don't even know if that would sell that well, considering the iPhone 14 Plus isn't selling as great as maybe some people would hope. But I still think the iPhone SE Plus could have been a very interesting device. Now another one that's still not released yet is the iPhone Fold. So this is a phone that, you know, is not past due. You know, I think Apple is going to be making one probably in the next few years. But we've heard probably for the last two years that Apple was dropping an iPhone Fold either that year in 2022 or maybe even this year in 2023. So we haven't quite heard anything about it yet. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens there. Now, another one is the iPhone 14 mini. This is another phone that Apple hasn't made. I don't think Apple's going to make it like at all. So it's not really an unreleased phone. It was more of like a, you know, good decision from Apple. They didn't want to have too many phones that just aren't selling that well. So they dropped the mini and brought the plus, which makes sense. And finally, the iPhone C and the iPhone S monikers. We've never gotten another 5C iPhone or C iPhone at all since the iPhone 5C. But we also haven't gotten another S iPhone since the iPhone XS in 2018. So it's been many, many years since we got the next iPhone S. And I don't think we probably will ever see another iPhone S. So the iPhone 12S, iPhone 13S, iPhone 14S, I guess that moniker has basically gone away now too. So those are just some of the unreleased iPhones or iPhones. Maybe Apple hasn't probably going to make any more abandoned lineups too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soul man.